The course is aimed at lecturers across higher education institutions in South Africa. And so we create a knowledge-based and theory-based course here at, um, at Chirtley to enable them to become reflexive practitioners um, as teachers of their disciplines. We have an annual intake of around 20 lecturers. So at any given time, we could have up to 40 plus participants in the course as a whole in year one and year two. What we're trying to do is to get people to be able to um, to, we give them the sort of theoretical tools to be able to analyze um, not only the higher education context, because as Lynn said, the higher education has changed a lot over the decades, but it's, it's changing all the time. You don't have to go into extreme depth of every single question, but I'd like to talk about every The days of just standing up and delivering a lecture, you know, throwing your pearls before the swine kind of thing, you know, that's over. We, we, we want to know people are learning. We want to be interacting with your students. You, you, you need to be doing something different. Then after that, I will give it to the quality assurance agents to analyze, synthesize and recommend so that we can draw the conclusion what needs to be done by me when I'm teaching in class. I want to know exactly how, <coughs> what would that relationship be in the context of evaluation. Um, so make that clear in your conceptualizing of the, the whole evaluation process. I'm from the University of Vendor. We had an option at our institution to do this course with about three other universities. But, you know, the word of mouth is also very powerful. I heard from colleagues who have been to Rhodes before that they found this very enriching. On my uh, experience or my teaching experience, Basically, I had some lots of problems, and I realized that I needed formal uh, teaching, you know, experience or uh, what is it, training of some sort. I wanted to improve uh, my uh, the effectiveness of my my, my tutorials and uh, my interventions with uh, students. So that's what I came with, and uh, I, I got a chance to to throw my ideas into 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 the course, and they were scrutinized. And I came up with uh, better ideas, and I was able to go back to to implement what I, what I learned. And yeah. How are you doing? The, the teachers themselves, the way, you know, the coordinators, uh, they really applied themselves to their work more than I've ever had any teacher doing that. And that, I think, it's a great motivation. And now getting into the uh, PG Deep, I then now realize that that is just so, so much. You can never say that I'm a trained teacher, I know it all, I've done that. No, no, you can't do PG Deep. You realize that you just have to relive. And that's how I entitled my, my, my portfolio. I entitled it Relearning the Ropes. It's, uh, it's, uh, it was quite uh, rigorous and tough, but it was worth it. 
it was uh, quite uh, rewarding. I was really happy with uh, what I got. You, you see, teaching is a very live profession. So for me to be current, it's important to have such a degree. You can't just rely on things that you have done and you think that that's okay. Because teaching, as I've said, it's a living experience. It's, it's full of life.